Today, we're going to talk about motorcycle braking, what their capabilities are, and why that matters to us compared to other vehicles on the road. So let's look at myth and reality. Most riders believe that they can stop faster than other vehicles on the road, and that's just not true. Motorcycles and cars actually stop in very similar distances, with cars actually having a slight advantage mechanically. A motorcycle's stopping capability is around 1G. So we looked at the licensing motorcycle test as well as rider training exit requirements and they were around a half a G. So their graduation standard is roughly one half of the capability of the motorcycle. So a new rider or a graduate of a motorcycle training course generally stops around a 0.5 G or half a G. An experienced rider, one with training who knows their own motorcycle, stops around 0.7 Gs. An expert and the vehicle capability of virtually every motorcycle on the road is around 1 G. When we compare this to other vehicles on the road, they're all stopping around 1 G as well. So there's no mechanical advantage for the motorcycle to stop faster. The difference is the driver and the rider. So we took some motorcycles and we wanted to calculate exactly how much distance that really was between the new rider and an expert rider. So we took the new rider and they came down at 15 miles per hour. They stopped at a half a G. It was 15 feet. The expert came down at 15 miles per hour. He stopped at a 1 G and stopped in only eight feet. The difference between the two was seven feet. That's about the length of a car, or at least a motorcycle. Now if we double that, we're at 30 miles per hour. Now the distances grow and at half a G, we're at 60 feet. A 1G is at 30 feet. The difference there, you can park a school bus between you. So taking the speeds up to more realistic numbers, we went ahead and did the braking at 45 miles per hour. Again, the new rider came down. They stopped at 135 feet. When the expert came down and stopped, they stopped in only 67 feet. The difference between those two stops is the same distance as a semi-truck with a trailer attached. That is a lot of distance at 45 miles an hour. So next time you're in traffic, think twice about your falling distance. Give just a little more space because you may not be able to stop as fast as the other vehicle in front of you. And training is everything. Find a training school that will show you and teach you how to get the maximum braking capability out of your motorcycle and practice those skills until they're second nature. This is the difference between stopping and avoiding an accident, hitting a vehicle, or even worse, having a serious injury or fatality. So stay safe and live to ride another day.